Hey, Matt from Matt's Reef Tank here, about to do the Aquarium Tuber Challenge. Brought to me by Eddie at Eddie's Reef Aquaria. Basically, what it is is 10 questions that I need to answer about my tank that has been passed around to a bunch of people making videos on YouTube. And then it's my job to answer those questions and then pass those questions on to three other people making reef style videos on YouTube. So without further ado, question number one. What do you like more, fish or a reef tank? I think it's pretty obvious that I'm a reef tank lover. I started out with fish it moved from fresh water to salt water, and then as soon as I got my eyes on the color and variety involved in an actual reef tank community, uh, I never turned back. Question number two is a little bit harder. What do you like better, soft or hard corals? I think that uh, that's a tough question to answer, but I would probably say that uh, hard corals are more beautiful, softies are easier. So I enjoy the idea of a successful coral, so that means that I might like softies, but I also like a challenge. So you might say SPS. I'm gonna go and say that I actually like SPS better, but the soft corals are so easy that going into a pet shop, I might choose a softie over a hard, just because I know that if I put that in a tank, it's got a better chance of success. The next question is, what is your favorite coral? I'm going to answer the question myself, and then I'm gonna pass the question on to my mom to see if she picks the same coral as me. Okay, mom, what's your favorite coral in there? That's hard. You know, the big ones are beautiful because you get the bigger color. Mm -hmm. But then when you get up close and you're looking at the smaller ones, you know, it's amazing. I do like the green. Yeah, I was thinking that. Yeah. He's beautiful. The cabbage? Cabbage yeah, leather? cabbage leather, yeah. Okay, that's your choice. All right, so my mom likes the cabbage leather. Beautiful coral. It grows like mad. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna have to cut it down pretty soon. It's growing too fast. My favorite coral as it stands right now is the brain. This guy has been so successful, grown so well onto this rock, and just really, really thrived in my tank. It's got a, a beautiful color to it. It's got a beautiful shape and it just fits very perfectly into my tank. So that would be my favorite coral. If you guys don't know, I live in China and my mom is actually visiting me here in China. What do you think of China, mom? Love it. I'm very comfortable here. So is your favorite fish in the tank or is oh, your yeah. favorite fish something we ate earlier? <laughs> I didn't eat anything that would have been my favorite fish. <laughs> okay, so our favorite fish in the fish tank has got to be this guy right there. He's, he's right there. That's Fung. Fung's my oldest fish. He's been with me the longest, and uh, he's my buddy. You can see him hanging out mm -hmm. there over my shoulder. What is my least favorite coral? Oh, you know what? My least favorite coral for me personally is frog spawn. I've never been lucky with frog spawn. They look very interesting, so I'm always tempted to buy it. Then I bring it home, and that coral never seems to take on in my tank. I don't know why. Other corals thrive, but frog spawn has never been uh, quite successful. It's not my least favorite because it's not pretty. It's just my least favorite because it just never seems to last. Next question. What is my least favorite fish? There was a fish, his name was Roderick. He was a uh, real pain in the ass. He was a yellow damsel. He just beat everybody up. He was a bully. Picked on everybody, made everybody frustrated, so much so that I had to take him out. I gave him to a friend of mine that lived nearby, had a big fish tank, and uh, Roderick grew huge and became the mafioso in the fish tank. So yeah, Roderick, Roderick was a bully. I have a video about how I make fish food, so you probably can guess that I like the homemade stuff. If you don't have time for it, obviously commercial food is what you have to rely on. But if I had a choice, I would always say, make your own food, get the variety of ingredients, whatever you need in order to make the fish as happy as possible, and then freeze it and then feed your fish over the course of the long term. Okay, now I'm over my tank looking down and you can see that I have two LEDs. They're Zetlite 660s 
and uh, they provide a pretty wide spectrum for the fish in the tank. Looks wise, the LEDs are probably unmatched in my opinion. I think they're slim, they're cool, they're tight looking. They don't heat up as much. They're just really nice lights. If they designed it in a way that was similar to the LEDs, I would definitely choose a T5 metal halide combination instead of the LEDs. I think that the corals perform better under those lights and I think that you get better growth under those lights. But because this tank sits in the middle of my office, I have an open top, I laid in these LEDs. Last but not least, what would be your dream tank? I would probably say my dream tank would be in a dream house, which would be situated on the beach of a beautiful island in the tropics. Water would be drawn in from the uh, ocean and then lifted from the ocean into the fish tank area, which would uh, be from cultivated items outside my house. So I would go out and I'd find beautiful corals. I would cut them off as humanely as possible and build a reef in the house uh, from propagations uh, that I had had from the outside and the, and the seawater would be constantly cycling through. We're talking walls, walls of my house being the ocean and being fed by the ocean. It's a dream, right? Anyways. That's all I got. I got to take my mom around China. We're going to visit some more places today. I do have a few challengers that I'd like to pass this on to people that I would love to hear their answers to these questions. One, I'm sure all of you guys know, and I looked online to try and find people I know that haven't done this, and a lot of you guys have done this. So, um, Than from Tidal Gardens, you rock, man. You're an inspiration to all of us in this community, and your videos have spurred on me, uh, among many others, to capture the beauty of the coral through our lenses. And uh, I'd be very interested to hear uh, your answers to these questions. I hope you take me up on this offer. I'm gonna read this name. Uh, Nemanja Mijatovic. You've been a friend of mine and a viewer of my uh, Reef Tank series for some time. I'd love to hear your answers to these questions. Why don't you uh, do a little video, post it up, and I'd love to watch it and uh, like it as well. Patrick Couch. Uh, I have uh, seen you answering and watching my videos as well. I'd like to hear what your opinions are on this as well. So uh, all three of you, uh, please accept this if you can. Thanks again, and uh, be sure to watch Matt's Reef Tank. I try to put one out every Friday, but it probably doesn't come out exactly on Friday, which is Fishy Friday. Instead, I try to put a Matt's Reef Tank out at least once a week. I'll leave a link below. Like, share, subscribe, comment, and uh, I will see you next time. Bye.